Hi, I'm Mary Esther Reed, and today is Thursday, April the 9th. And Brian, it's been another week since another week. you and I talked, and it's hard to believe when Kathy called me, and we talked about it last night, and she said, oh, it's been a week. I said, no, it's only been a couple of days. Yep. The days seem to run together right now. I'm not sure what day it is. <laughs> it's just they all run they together. They do. We've had to do a couple of takes on this because I couldn't remember what day of the week or what um, number day it was. So, But it is Thursday, Thursday April the 9th. 9th. Yes. yes. So um, we just want to get back together with each one of you here in the community to update you on some things and also give you a little bit of new information. You know, I know that right now is really a challenging time. Um, you have worries um, financially. You are worried in general about um, health concerns. And we want you to know that there are resources here in the town of Smyrna. Um, if you are experiencing anxiety or if you need resources for food, we do have a contact here in the town of Smyrna and that is Shirley Key who's with our Smyrna Police Department and she is a fabulous resource that we have in connecting our citizens to resources um, that are available within the county. And Shirley is a licensed social worker that um, connects you with the needs you might have and Shirley can be reached at 615-267-5151 or at shirley.key at townofsmyrna.org. So if you are in need, um, you might want to reach out to Shirley and she might be able to connect you with um, a resource that is available within the county. Also wanted to talk a little bit about the um, feeding program that's going on with Rutherford County Schools. I can't tell you how much we appreciate the school system and also those cafeteria workers that are there every, every day. day. You know, the one thing I've noticed through this, it is those everyday heroes that are stepping up. It is those people at the grocery stores. It is the cafeteria ladies. It, are, it is those people that are in those essential jobs. And we'll talk a little bit about our essential players with um, our town, but I want to say thank you to those individuals that are out there day to day making sure that those essential businesses are open. We really appreciate you. Um, the Rutherford County Schools has expanded their feeding program. They have free bag, pre-bagged meals for breakfast and lunch for anyone who is 18 years and under available for pickup between 8 and 10 a.m. And those sites include Cedar Grove Elementary, David Urey Elementary, Smyrna Middle School, and Stewartsboro here in Smyrna. There are other sites available in the county, but we just wanted to highlight those that are here in um, the Smyrna area. They're also having um, hot food options between eight and nine and 11 and noon. Those are also pickup um, meals as well. The hot food is at John Coleman Elementary, Rocky Fork Elementary, Rocky Fork Middle, Smyrna Elementary, Smyrna High School, and Smyrna Primary. These are available Monday through Friday, but because tomorrow is Good Friday, they will be closed on Good Friday. So make sure that you um, make arrangements for something for tomorrow because they will not be open. But again, thank you to those individuals who are um, stepping forward and making sure that children children 18 and under are taken care of. Um, Brian talked a little bit about our employees. You know, yes. they are, they're stepping up as well and there is no way that we could continue on with day-to-day -day operations without the 400 plus employees that we have. So talk a little bit about our employees and we talk a little bit, I know we talked a little bit last time, but we talk a little bit about our modified schedule. Sure. You know, Mayor, you mentioned too, and I, I, I'd be remiss if we didn't just step back a minute and when you're talking about the grocery stores and the, all the different people that are out there working, you know, a, a big shout out too to our healthcare providers. I tell you what, uh, we are constantly in uh, communication with Stonecrest. Uh, I know uh, the same thing's happening with Ascension, uh, St. Thomas and Murfreesboro, but uh, they're reaching out, letting us know what they're doing, how things are going, uh, and those folks are just I mean, they're on the front lines uh, and just want to say a big thank you to our health care providers. And they were on my list as well, and I'm glad that you mentioned them because you talk about the health care workers, but also those emergency service people that are at those people's homes sure. to maybe have to transport, whether it's through the fire department, the police department, the EMS. Um, 
you know, I can't imagine the stress level that they are having right now, and um, but I don't know what we'd do without them. And, you know, we got people taking care of our seniors, too, and I uh, just want to say thank you to those people. All the services they're providing right now so essential. Um, and like I said, they're on that front line every day and uh, they're just, they're making it happen. And we do do so much appreciate what they're doing. Well, so. and I know that you've been in contact with um, Lou at Stonecrest, I but I also want people to know that they're also reaching out to our nursing homes yes. and making sure that those individuals are taken care of as well. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we've, we've had a couple of calls of concern from uh, community uh, members. Uh, we've reached out, and, I, and in fact, I had a conversation last night with Lou at uh, Lou Caputo at Stonecrest, also with Dana at the uh, health department, and uh, those folks are doing a fabulous job, and they're staying in touch with all of our health care providers and all of our assisted living and uh, nursing homes. And, uh, you know, I just feel very confident uh, that uh, they're taking very good care of our seniors, and uh, we just continue to pray for those folks uh, and appreciate them every day for what they're doing. Absolutely. Going back now, uh, you mentioned Good Friday for the school systems tomorrow, but also Good Friday uh, for the town. Uh, and our offices will be closed tomorrow. I just very quickly just wanted to say thank you to our employees. Uh, you, you said it a minute ago, Mary Esther, uh, you know, we have um, over uh, 400 employees and we, we're working with them to keep them safe. Uh, these are stressful times for all of us including our employees. They've got families at home, they've got elderly parents, those type things that they're dealing with. We're working with them. We've got some modified schedules that we've done. We've got some people working from home. We also have some people working on a 50-50 uh, type rotation with the employees to, to minimize the amount of employee traffic that we have inside the building. But I'm happy to tell you that at, for the community, we are still providing all of our services with the exception of a few things. And I'd like to just remind everybody of some of the closures that we've had. Of course, our parks department continues to be closed. The golf course continues to be closed. The SOAC, which is the Smyrna Outdoor Activity Center, continues to be closed. Uh, but they're doing a little bit of modification. If you keep an eye on Facebook, I think they're doing some programming over Facebook and reading to the uh, children. And uh, heck, I'll be honest with you, they're reading to some of us adults too. I enjoy it myself. So I appreciate them and, uh, and their creativity and their willingness to get out there and make some things happen. Our event center is closed. And of course, town hall is closed to outside traffic. Uh, we are still available by telephone, by email, uh, by text, and those different things. And like I said, our, our personnel are working on rotating shifts in a modified schedule right now. You know, we talked about several, uh, the, the health care providers, the grocery stores, those kind of things. You know, and again, our police department, our fire department, and people don't think about our wastewater treatment plant and our water plant. Those people are out there providing essential services every day. They're on that front line as well. Uh, we're doing some things. Uh, we've modified some of our safety protocols for all of those departments. Uh, very happy that we received some N95 masks yesterday through the EOC. Uh, we appreciate so much that coming through the county and through the EOC uh, to help us prepare to be able to do the things we need to do when we're interacting with the community right now. Uh, you know, you may see our police officers on the side of the road. You know, we're, we're trying to be proactive in promoting safety. Uh, not necessarily having to pull people over, but just through observation that the police officers are out there doing their job. Uh, we're also trying to respond to uh, any uh, calls that we get based on the governor's orders. Uh, I had a lady call me the other day, and you know, these are the unfortunate things, but those are the things that happen. The children get a little rambunctious at the house. They're ready to get outside, and they see a soccer field down the street, and they go play soccer for a little while. Not thinking they're hurting anything, but that's again, those, those groups of 10 or more where the COVID-19 uh, virus could be spread. So we're just encouraging those kids to go back home and, and, and remember this is a uh, stay at home mandate that we have in place right now. So we're doing some of those kind of things. You know, I talked about modifying our services here. I just want to remind the public that there is still a way to do business with us, especially through our utilities and through business license, uh, licensing and those kind of things. You can make your payments to your utilities. You can apply for new service, transfer service, or disconnects can be done online or by phone now. Planning and codes and public works is conducting business electronically and via the phone system as well. 
So keep those things in mind. Reach out, go to the town website if you have any issues. Uh, we have a search engine there where you can pull up the type of business that you're trying to perform with the town and we can get you directed. And of course you can call the office and we'll, we'll walk you through those things. Make sure you're following the CDC guidelines. Wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, you know, cover a call for a sneeze. And now they've added, you know, the wearing of the mask. If you're out in the community, I, I would highly recommend you wear gloves and mask. Make sure you're taking those off as you get into your car, use hand sanitizers. Take care of your family, I implore you. Uh, you know, use good common sense. Make sure you're, you're taking care of yourself, take care of your family, and take yourself out of those situations. If, if people are, are getting too close to you, you can move as much as they can move. So, you know, take care of yourself. I really, you know, I'm passionate about this. Everything we can do to take care of ourselves is important. And the only person who can take care of you is you. I don't disagree at all. And um, I think we all have personal responsibility in this. Um, I do want to, we also still have our drive up window available. Yes. So if someone needs to pay a bill and, um, can't do it online or don't want to send it through the mail, we do have we do. our drive through window available. One of the things we've kind of talked about a little bit today is working together. And I think through this time, what we found is people are coming together to help each other. I know you all hear me say this a lot. It's about neighbor helping neighbor. And we also have that within our community. So I just want to say thank you to the other mayors and um, the other special services that um, are stepping up to help community by community. We really appreciate all of the help. Um, you talked about the Emergency Operations Center um, headed by Chris Clark, and we have individuals there each day to help on a county-wide basis. So thanks to Chris Clark and his group for all they're doing at the Absolutely. EOC. Um, we have a big holiday coming up this weekend. It is Easter weekend. And I know this is a time that um, many are in church. Many are getting together with family. Um, we usually have our big Easter brunch that we're not able to have this year. Um, I want you to know that um, you can still um, celebrate. We just ask that you celebrate and maybe consider staying at home to do that, not getting together in large groups, not getting together with family. Um, you can do that through social media. You can do that through um, FaceTime. There's lots of other ways that you can be with your family while not being in the, in same, the same room with in, with them. And so um, we did want to acknowledge what a special weekend is coming up. Um, Last thing I want to say, we live in one of the best communities anywhere. I would say the best. I know there might be some that would um, disagree, but I do think we live in the best community anywhere. We are resilient, we're vibrant, we're going to come through this. There is absolutely no doubt. And I think when we do, um, we're gonna have a greater appreciation for many things that we took for granted in life. Um, I think this is an opportunity for us to count our blessings and continue to be that community where it's neighbor helping neighbor. We hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. Um, please stay safe and please continue to adhere to the social distancing policies that have been put in place.